All right, hey, what's up, guys, and welcome to another vlog. So, guys, uh, thought I'd give uh, another update on the uh, on the personal uh, rig. So, uh, first things first, I finally got around to an upgrade. So, I got a a new cooler. So, yeah, um, the old cooler, which was a um, I think it was a stock uh, AMD cooler from oh, whoops, from Cooler Master. Yeah, this this is it right here. So, uh, it's, it served me well, uh, but, yeah, I wanted to see, like, what I would, what I would get with, like, a bigger cooler, so, uh, that is what I did. So, I got, uh, this one off of Newegg, uh, I don't know what, I forgot what the branding was, actually, I have, I have it all, I have it all right here, hang on, let me just, yeah, this is it right here on, on Newegg, uh, it says $30, $30, but I actually got it on sale for, it was, like, $14 or whatever, so I'm, like, when I saw it, I'm, like, uh, hit it. like I just click click bye bye <laughs> so I don't, I don't know so I I saw it uh, it looks it looked cool and uh, it looks it I'm actually surprised that it actually fit in here like being a, a like a huge like being like a huge cooler it's not a Noctua or it's not a um it's not a name escapes me but like it's not like the, any of the other brands this is this is like a third party like CPU cooler but it's uh performing well uh so far at least i know i at least I'm, I'm glad i installed it correctly so yeah i would have liked to have i would have liked to have it in black because like the um the uh the sil the silver on the heatsink kind of clashes with like the rest of the the rest of the chassis because everything else is like either black or rgb so yeah i would have liked to have it in black but as you can see it's like just black wasn't available so yeah it is what it is uh at least i finally got an, got an upgrade but that's not the end of it, because uh, what I just did uh, a few moments ago was uh, make one of the biggest purchases I I probably did. That's that competes with buying this computer or buying my uh, my Epiphone ES333. So what I did was I went and got a new motherboard. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know if you could see it, but. Um, Underneath the the micro ATX motherboard that I ha that's that came installed in this uh, computer, um, there's a lot of room, and uh, like you saw in the um, in the power supply uh, video, um, I I complained that like yeah there's there's a lot there's a lot more room here to be desired. There's a lot of free real estate, so yeah I I went and got um, a full on ATX mother motherboard, so I got. Uh, an uh, X570 uh, from MSI. So, uh, I ordered it, like, literally, like I said, a few moments ago. So, <laughs> oh boy. But wait, there's more. So the upgrades didn't stop there with the motherboard. So, I wanted to get a CPU upgrade. So, what I ended up getting was this thing. <laughs> oh, oh God, like my... My wallet, it's 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 howling in page. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I went ahead and got a Ryzen 9 5900X. So to any of to any of the uh the PC nerds like that are like tech savvy, you'll probably know that like you probably that like um there might be some cap compatibility issues with like the the Ryzen um, 9900X with the uh, X570 motherboard, so it will need a BIOS update. I actually checked on um, on um, on PC Part Picker, so yeah, I have everything right here: the 900X and the the, the, the motherboard the Tomahawk. So it is gonna need a, a BIOS update, but luckily, uh, the uh, the CPU that I have right now, which is a, a Ryzen 5 3600. Uh, where is it? Where are you? Where are you? Uh, da, 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 da. There it is. Okay. Uh, and that. It, it, th this chip is compatible. The one I have right now. So I can use this. I can use this, um, to update the BIOS. Um, so it'll be ready for the, um, for the 5900X. So, yeah. So at least I'll have, I'll have that. And, uh, and this chip that, I, the chip that I have right now ain't going anywhere. It's going to be repurposed for something else, which I'll... More on that later. But yeah, guys, you're probably looking at this and wondering, this is such a waste. This is so... 
unnecessary, but I just, the way I'm wired, like, I just, I had to do it, because, like, I want to be able to have, have it, have my computer up to a point where, like, I don't have to worry about it performance-wise over the next, like, few years. I like, I like to future-proof everything, so, yeah, I, like, because this is my first gaming PC right here, so I want it to, I want it to last for, for like, a considerable amount of time before I even think about looking at other, other options, so, like, I want this thing to last, so, like, that's the why, that's the reason why I'm upgrading it to, like, better components and everything, so, yeah, um, now that I got new motherboard, new, new, uh, chip, what's next on the, on the agenda, probably, uh, probably better RAM, because, uh, I only have 16 gigs of RAM, uh, the new, uh, the new board will have, have room for four, four DIMM slots for, for RAM, so I, I can always, um, get the same, uh, brand of RAM, because, like, you have to match it up in order for it to, in order for it to, like, actually, uh, I mean, I guess you could mix it up, but, like, it has to be the same timing and the same, same clock speeds and stuff, but that's beside the point. Probably in the future, I'll probably get new RAM, and I definitely want to get like an AIO water cooling for like for like overclocking or whatever. So yeah, but that's in the future. But like, the point of this is like, point of this is just to tell you guys that I'm an idiot. I make bad financial decisions. <laughs> I, I probably should not look at any like sh like shops at, at ever like for like the next like the next like few months or so. So yeah. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's it for this one, so I'll see you guys next time. Peace!